Welcome back to the Lights Out Podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all snuggled up and ready for another Lights Out bedtime story? Good, because you're in for a treat tonight. That's right. We have a book called Whiz Pop Granny Stop by Tracy Corduroy and Joe Berger. Once upon a time, my granny is quite different. Of that, there is no doubt. In a world jam-packed with grannies, you'd always pick her out. Although I love her awfully much, sometimes I wish she'd be a little less peculiar and a little more like me. My granny likes to help me when things don't go quite right. She's got this special helping kit. She whisks it out day and night. Ooh, cries granny, stubborn hair. And suddenly... Whiz! Pop! Eek! I gulp. It's gone all pink. Oh, do please, Granny, stop! My Granny likes to help me when I have lots to do, like cleaning up my bunnies' very whiffy piles of poo. There we go, beams Granny as she whizzes it away. But Granny, where has Flopsy gone? I wanted him to stay. My Granny likes to help me when I'm in a spin. She whizzes out her helping kit and gives a little grin. Ah, yes, she nods. A dance for swans. And then I hear, whiz, pop. Oh, no, I flap as feathers sprout. Granny, please just stop. So then my birthday came around. Let's make a cake, I said. But let's not use your helping kit. Let's whisk and bake instead. We weighed and poured and sieved and stirred. And it was so much fun. Yippee, I cheered when it was cooked. Oh, look how well we've done. I took out Granny's sewing box and found some bits of red. They're perfect for a party dress, my Granny smiled and said. We cut and stitched and look, I cried. It fits just like a glove. And though it's not quite dressy shaped, it's made with tons of love. Party time began at four. The food looked such a treat. We made it all ourselves, I cried, as much as you can eat. Then Granny painted faces without a helping kit, and when she went a little wrong, no one cried a bit. We flapped like bats, we croaked like frogs, and party turned quite wild. Just like parties ought to be, my lovely Granny smiled. My friends sang happy birthday and trooped off home to bed. But then I noticed all the mess. Oh, Granny, look, I said. Don't worry, my dear, my granny grinned, and suddenly, whiz pop, and off we zoomed together on a supersonic mop. And when the day was almost done, I sat on granny's knee. She said she had just one more little birthday present for me. My granny might be different, but I would like to say, I really wouldn't have my granny any other way. The end of Whiz Pop Granny Stop by Tracy Corduroy and Joey Berger here on the Lights Out Podcast bedtime stories for boys and girls and magical grannies around the world good night <laughs>